वेलकम बैक एवरी वन एंड दिस इज येट अनदर वीडियो अबाउट एंगुलर नाइन सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू पास अराउंड डेटा फ्रॉम द चाइल्ड कंपोनेंट टू द पेरेंट कंपोनेंट वाया इवेंट हैंडलर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड अपॉन वेयर वी एक्चुअली लेफ्ट ऑफ इन द लास्ट वीडियो नाउ इफ यू हैवन वॉच द लास्ट वीडियो वेयर आई एक्चुअली इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू एंगुलर नाइन एंड वॉट दिस फ्रेमवर्क कैन डू फॉर यू प्लीज गो back to this video and watch click the bubble notification and you will be taken directly to that video having said that in today's video we are going to build the same card we were building in the last video and today we will learn how to pass around data from child to parent and calculate the total items in the card as you can see here so i have got these two items and if i click on this plus button you can see that if i increase the count of burgers the total items in the cart also get increased okay and similarly if i click on pizza so it becomes the count of burgers plus the count of pizza and it is the count which this total items in cart row represent okay so we are going to build this thing we have decreased the number of items from 4 in the previous video to 2 in this current video so that is one thing i wanted to mention okay so let's start so first of all if you do not have the stack blitz example which we coded in the last video available with you you can directly head over to this url and fork this thing the link of this particular repository is in the description so make sure you check that out in case you have that already with you because you actually practiced by writing your own code from the last video make sure you fork that project or you can also extend it it's up to you what you want to do so i'm going to fork this project real quick okay all right so first of all right off the bat we have to remove these two items cheeseburgers and fries so let's do that quickly save this thing and now we have got two items now let's move to our counter component now here we have to notify the parent component which is this one app component right because it is hosting these child components so we have to notify this component that the data has changed if i click on this plus button or minus button it has to notify the containing component that the data in it has changed how can i do that in order to do that i have to use this output annotation along with the event emitter functionality okay do this thing and now you have to create an output now this output can be plugged to some parent components okay so you can name it whatever you want to change for the time being this will be event emitter okay and event emitter should be of some type so here we are going to tell the parent the exact count okay so it is going to be of type number okay and this is how you can create an event emitter okay now once i click on this button it should notify i mean either of these buttons it should notify the parent that the data or the value has changed this is the value right and it is getting its input from the parent component itself right so what i can do here is that i can do instead of doing this i can do this dot changed okay and then i can emit it okay so this is how you can actually you know fire events using this event emitter thing okay so i am going to emit and inside this emit you have to emit the data and in our case the data is this plus value plus 1 in case of increment so now in this case we are no longer you know making changes to the well property from the child component itself it is just going to fire that event and the property the actual value of the property will change in the parent component so that parent component will have the latest and the freshest of data similarly for decrement what we can do is this dot change again we have to emit 
Now in this particular case, we have to take care that your items cannot be in negative. Otherwise, the total items in cart would be in negative. We certainly do not want that. So the user cannot go beyond zero items for any one particular item like burger or pizza. There cannot be minus one burgers or minus two pizzas, right? To do that, what we can write is if this dot well minus one is smaller than zero, then output zero. Otherwise, output this dot well minus one. So this way we can prevent the counter from going beyond zero in the negative direction. So it can never be negative. Okay. It can either be zero or more than that. So this way we can actually notify the parent component. Now the parent component has to have something in order to listen to this. How can we do that? You have to go back to the parent components template and here you have to listen to the change event fired from your children. Okay. So if you can recall, we have discussed that in order to listen to the events fired by the parent components, you have to use the parenthesis notation. So here we can listen to the change event and then we can assign some sort of event handler. So we can do something like burgers changed. Okay. And then it is going to take the event as the input. Now in this particular thing, you will get the actual data. Okay. Similarly, for this thing, we can listen to its change event and here we can attach pizzas changed. So this will be the event handler for this pizza item. All right. Now also we have to write this B element is to make the text that is contained between these B text bolder. Okay. So total items. Now we have to plug in the property which will represent the total items, not total input, but total items. Okay. Now we have to create one property in our app component, which will be named as total items. Okay. I'll remove this thing and do total items, total items. All right. Then we also have to do or create these two event handlers. Okay. Go back to your TS class and do this. Now here we are going to receive the actual data and we know that our data is going to be of number type. Okay. So we can do something like count and this count will be of type number. Okay. Now in order to contain the actual number of items in our app component class, we have to create two class properties or members. So that can be burgers. Okay. And initially it will be zero. Similarly, we need pizzas. It will also be zero when the application boots up. All right. And if burger change, then this dot burgers is going to be the count, which we got from the child component. Okay. Similarly for pizza, we have to create one more event handler in the TS class. Similarly, the definition is going to be similar to what we have programmed for burger. This dot pizza and the count will be the value. This dot pizzas will get using this way. We can get the event back and the values and then we can update that values in our parent component. Once this happens, we have to recalculate the total items. So what we can do is we can create a function calculate total items
and it will be this dot total items equals to total dot burgers plus this dot pizzas so initially total items should be zero right or what you can do is you can create a constructor in the ts class and then call this calculate i mean call this this dot calculate this is the notation if you really want to call something or some function from the class itself okay now the total item is getting updated properly okay then again once you receive any change event if you like click as of now no changes will occur right so if any change occur you again have to recalculate the value so in the event handlers for the individual items you have to again call this function okay all right but still if you click on this the count here is not getting updated all the to total items are getting updated but they are not getting updated properly so we have forgotten one thing that here instead of doing or passing in the hard coded values now we have to pass in the members like these burgers and pizzas members and plug it here so burgers and pizzas okay so now if i click on this you can clearly see that the counts are getting updated for the individual child component and also the parent component so the total items in the cart now are nine total pizzas are four and total burgers are five i cannot go past zero even if i want to due to this logic right so our child component no longer contains the actual count it is just passing the event over to the parent and then the parent contains the actual value of any one particular item and then it recalculates it once it has received the event okay it updates its internal values of burgers and pizzas and then fires the calculate total item function in order to update this total items and this total item members is getting reflected in the template over here okay so this is the logic so this is one such way of passing data between children and parent there is also one more way that is known as operating via view child i will show that technique in the next video so make sure if you haven't subscribed yet that you subscribe to this channel because on this channel i'm going to release many videos about angular 9 and you are going to learn a hell lot of things about angular and other web development technologies Apart from this, on this channel, we also talk about software industry, making careers in IT and things like that. So if you are interested in any of those fields, make sure you follow me on whatever social media you are on. My handles are similar, which are mentioned over here. Okay, so I am on most of the social media that is out there. So make sure you follow me there and do not forget to subscribe codelit.dev on youtube i see you guys over in the next video